Choosing your YouTube channel names can be tough, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, we're gonna run through six simple steps that you can follow right now to get new ideas and pick the right channel name for you. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Choosing a YouTube channel name can be a tough decision. It makes an important statement about you, the content that you're creating, and also your business and brand. So it's perfectly reasonable that you wanna invest the time to get this right. So whether you're stuck coming up with YouTube channel name ideas, or you already have a long list of great ideas, but you're just trying to decide on which one is the best one for you. The six steps that we're about to cover is gonna make it so much easier for you to quickly pick the right channel name for you. So step one is to make a list of all the content that your channel is about or your channel is going to be about. So what topics are you going to cover? What field, what industry, how broad or how focused will these areas be? What style of content are you going to be rolling out as well? So an example would be video marketing and video creation for us and on there, the type of content and style of content are tutorials and how-to videos. So some other examples could be vlogging, it could be reviews, entertainment, gaming videos. There is a huge range of videos that you could be creating, but you wanna get some clarity around what they are. Once you've got all of those ideas and everything down, step number two is to get clear on your end goal. Is it building a personal brand? Is it building a company or both? Is it something that you might wanna sell off or to pull yourself or your name away from at some point? Using your own name can be a great place to start. It'll help you build your personal brand but it can make it a little more difficult to sell later down the track if you're building out a business or to even expand beyond just you if you wanna bring some other people in to help you. And it all can be done, but it's worth keeping in mind when you're deciding on your name. Once you've given that some thought, step number three is to make a list of existing channels out there that you like the name of. So you wanna get clear on what do you like about them? Is it any specific wording? Is it that they're really descriptive about the type of channel? Do you immediately know what the channel is going to be about just from the name of the channel? Or is it a certain style that you like? Primal Video versus Nick Nimmin two totally different types of channel names. Step number four is to make a list of all the words that describe your topic. So use a thesaurus, you could go to Google and do Google searches to see the language that your audience is using, but also to see the suggestions that pop up when you're typing in these words for other words that are like them. So typically for us, we'll do this in a column in a Google sheet. And for our channel, we would include words like video, video production, video editing, video marketing, video for business, and obviously the list goes on. Now at this point, if you've already chosen that you wanna build a personal brand, then your job's gonna be much easier here. You don't really need to brainstorm around your name. Step number five is to add in any words that describe your approach and that might work with the list of words that are already describing your topic. So here I'd suggest that you add these into a separate column in the same Google Sheet. So for example, we included the word primal in this list. It does have a few meanings, but the relevant one here is that it describes our approach, which is focused entirely on getting the best results with minimal work. And that definition of primal is essential or fundamental. Using a thesaurus can be super helpful for helping you find new ideas. Think of words that you like the sound of, that describe the outcome for your audience, or the goal of your content, or the goal of your business, or the goal of your YouTube channel too. And that leaves us with step number six, which is choosing your name. Now there's a few sub points here with this one to help you choose the right name for you. So you wanna start out by combining words in both of those columns. So in this case, primal video worked really well for us. It's focused enough to make it clear that we're talking about video related stuff, but it's not too limiting that it prevents us from talking about all the topics that we cover on our channel. You also wanna consider if it's important for you to have the topic instantly recognizable in your name versus something that doesn't really mean much but might give you some greater flexibility later. So anyone's first thoughts or impressions when they hear Primal Video is that it's likely got something to do with video. I'd also strongly recommend that you're considering using words that are easy to say and easy to spell, just to keep it simple. So that when you tell people to go and head to mychannelname.com or youtube.com forward slash mychannelname, you wanna make it so easy for them to be able to type that in, to be able to remember that without the need to type in 
random characters or dashes or underscores or any unnecessary symbols or something that they're not going to remember. And another really important thing that you'll wanna do is to check if it's already been used. So that's checking on YouTube, checking other social media platforms, checking website domains. Now you don't need them all, but it's definitely worth considering what's available when you're selecting your name. You can head to namecheck.com and type in some of your names. It's gonna do a search, not just for website domains, but also across your social media platforms as well. And it'll quickly tell you what's being used and what isn't. And one last really big pro tip is to not procrastinate for too long on selecting your name. You can change it later. The most important thing is to get started. So we actually started with Video Editing Coach before Primal Video, but we quickly found that that was way too limiting given all the content that we actually wanted to cover on our channel. So it is possible to transition and to rebrand, but starting is the most important thing. So now that you've got your YouTube channel name sorted, there's two videos linked on screen. The first one is gonna help you rank your videos in 2019 and the second one is a suggestion from youtube based on all the other stuff you've been watching i have no idea what it is i hope it's awesome i'll see you in the next one